Let's have a beautiful experience. In this video, we're going to talk about Ho'oponopono, how it can actually make your penis grow bigger, and how forgiveness is the key to growth. It's a beautiful thing. You gotta love it. All right, before we get started here, please do me a huge, huge favor. You know, please ring the bell, tell a few friends, and of course, you know, follow me on my social media. I go by Jesus underscore Detroit on my Instagram, Snapchat, I'm Young Dago. And yes, in this video, you heard me correctly. Forgiveness is the key to growth. And a lot of people out there might be thinking that, you know, what does this have to do with, you know, making my penis bigger? And it has everything to do with it. Because the key of this whole video that I want to reiterate is the fact that you need to forgive yourself. Hawaiians have a practice called Ho'oponopono. And I'm sure you, you may not have heard of this or maybe you've dabbled around by, you know, other stories and people that tell you the true benefits of how magical this is. But if you want to get more on the technical side, forgiveness is not only divine, but forgiveness is technology. If you want to get all sciencey with it. The reason that forgiveness is technology is the fact that it's an advancement for you. So whether you utilize it to grow, you know, your penis bigger, or to solve a situation that you're in, or a relationship with somebody, it's definitely going to help you advance. For me to, you know, what whole pono pono is is basically it's four phrases. If you never heard this at all, and it's quite simple. All right, you say, uh, you know, I am sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. And that's it. And you say this over and over and over again. And it's like a positive mantra that has magic behind it. And what it really, what you're really doing is you're healing an aspect of yourself. So if somebody ever does you wrong and you feel mad about this, that, or the other, you do the whole pono pono and it will make you feel beautiful. I guarantee it. Like this actually solves, like, you know, I've been utilizing this for, I don't know, maybe the past six months to a year. And I've been having tremendous results with this. If you have somebody that just, you know, is giving you a bad vibe or just, you know, just like even if somebody's like mean to you, like in a grocery store or something, just do the whole pono pono, you know, and what you're doing is, is you're healing an aspect of yourself. Because essentially, everything that you get is a reflection. So whatever you put, you know, whatever you're, you know, getting back is what's coming within. You know, so it starts within here. It starts within here. If you want to, you know, you got to keep this clear if you want beautiful things to appear. That's my philosophy. So with Ho'oponopono, what you're going to do is, like, you know, like you can even have somebody just yelling at you, just, you know, just <laughs> ripping, you know, just you know, breaking you down. You know what I mean? And you got to keep that smile. You get, And sometimes I've been in situations where you can't let the smile out you know because you don't want to make that particular person any more provoked and me understanding certain motions like like a smile because a smile is you know is divine this is an energy this is a technology this is a power and you might be thinking how is a smile a power you know like everybody sings about it Make you smile and you know smile for me and all this and that and smile is divine and the reason being you know like Whenever I go in the astral realms, I got videos on this, like I always claim. I, you know, some people, you know, you know, when they go, you know, when I go to sleep at night, I'm dripping DMT and I ain't got to snort for it, smoke for it, jab a vein for it. All I got to do is just sleep and I'm, you know, <laughs> rolling around in astral realms, I'm flying around, I'm growing, I'm a giant, sucking my huge mass of, you know, you know what I mean? I mean this is what the page is about here, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm dedicated, I'm a spiritual coach, I want to, you know, I'm here to help you make your penis bigger, wider, thicker, longer, stronger, and harder. You can get at me for Skype sessions if you really want to, you know, get into it. But what I want to tell you here is the clear conscious, the whole Pono Pono is going to help you, you know, 
enhance growth. You're going to clear out your karma. You're going to clear out. You got to have a clear field for growth. You know what I mean? It's like you got to. It's like whenever you plant something in the ground, you got to plow it. You got to clear the path and plant the seed. And that's what whole pono pono does to me. So going back to what I'm saying with um, you know how I've been utilizing this not only for my penis but just for you know a day to day and how a smile can make things you know make negativity go away and like I said well you know if I'm in the astral realms or wherever I understand that the smile like this act you know what I'm doing whether you can move this or not it's created in here the smile comes from in here which comes from the divine so the div divinity of the smile is something that you really got to take into consideration. Like, if I ever get sleep paralysis, and I don't know if you guys, you know, you guys may not have experienced this or not, it's when you can't move your body and you got the peanut butter mouth, like, uh, you know, more uh, like Neo in the Matrix. You can't move, and you're, you know, you can't, you're, you're frozen, and your natural inclination is to just yell and you, you can't move man it's like you know sometimes you can fight your way out of it but what I really realize but what I what I realized is when you're going when you're um, it's more or less the act of holding your breath because you can control your breathing you can control your smile and those are the two things that are just always going the while you know in the body or in the astral realms through your chakra system this is something that is divine, you know. So, if you ever have a sleep paralysis issue, the best thing you can do is just smile, tell yourself positive thoughts, be like, you know what, this is beautiful. There's a universe is on my side, you know, that guy's gonna go away, whatever it is, it's a beautiful thing. However, you know, whatever words you gotta use to, you know, float your ego or whatever, like, you know, resonates well with you, that's all you gotta say with the smile. Which is why positive affirmations and mantras have to be your words. You can't just, it's like, you know, would you speak uh, uh, Chinese or Mandarin if you, you know, if you don't understand that language? You gotta speak your language. You gotta learn your moves. So whatever you would say is the tr is the true way, you know, because there's no right or wrong to this. So you find your own mantra along the way that you can do for, you know, making your penis bigger, making your muscles bigger, raising your testosterone. I got plenty of positive affirmations that I could share with you. You know, I'll give you a quick diet one because I like to, you know, I like to give this one to the collective because I really think it can, you know, enhance you and, you know, on your day to day and, it's one that you might not even realize and you know you might think that you know where you're at because of you know your diet and this and that like you might think that you're fat because you have a because of your metabolism right you got to give yourself permission to let yourself know that you got you know a high metabolism there's people that eat McDonald's and junk food all day they already they always have it in their head man like yeah I got a high metabolism it's just like a natural knowing that's what enlightened people do they go beyond the mantras the affirmations law of attraction and the something called knowing so like when you see a guy eating McDonald's it's got a six-pack he knows or she knows that it doesn't affect them so you gotta at least give yourself permission with the positive but by using a positive affirmation that you're gonna help you know clear yourself up and that's why I like to use you know I am so happy and grateful I, you know it's like I don't know why every mantra has got to use this it's just like the go-to uh, you know basic start right and it's like I feel like you can utilize words that make you feel happy and grateful like this is beautiful or how whatever whatever resonates well with you I'm so happy and grateful if that's something that you use use it otherwise utilize words that you would use in this situation so basic outline you find a way for you is without further ado i am so happy and grateful that i have a high metabolism my body burns fat and builds muscle abundantly i can eat whatever i want whenever I want and gain only lean muscle mass. My body is constantly burning fat and building muscle abundantly. So you can always just add and add whatever, you know, 
you know you want to utilize with that and those are positive mantras that can actually help you out now does that mean that you can just all of a sudden just you know do a bill murray on groundhog's day and just have like a whole bunch of just you know cannolis and treats and this and that and be able to be ripped you know what anything's possible but the truth is the belief has to come with them so if you really believe it if you truly believe it if you truly feel it then you know it and it will show so i just utilize this more or less uh because it's like you know if you if you're somebody that you know diets you you shouldn't have to feel guilty uh, want to have yourself a dessert every now and then it's like dude people are eating mcdonald's and arby's every day <gasps> you know they got the meats right but you know why should you feel guilty for having a treat you know what i mean so that's why i always like to utilize and incorporate these because I feel um, you're gonna make your you're your own worst enemy, and you're the one that's making yourself the way you appear, and you're appearing out of fear, and fear is false evidence appearing real. So if you if you got an issue with your body and this and that, you want to make sure that you're putting the positive affirmations to change your perspective, and at least give yourself that you know to do away with the fear when you're gonna have you know a pizza party with you know your crew. Or, you know, my, my crew is my animals, you know what I mean? Because it's the way I like it, man. I love my, my bear and my wolf and, you know, my, my cat C. You know, pizza party, that's fine with me. It's a beautiful thing. So you shouldn't have to worry about, you know, feeling guilty if you're somebody that's definitely dedicated to your body. Your body is your temple. Your body is beautiful. I believe in you. You got to believe in you. And with whole opono pono. This, you know, it resonates well with this because it's all about forgiveness. And, you know, you might have been, you know, doubting yourself in the past about, you know, your guy down there and the people that you hang out with and, you know, just constantly talking bad about you. you know, talking bad about your penis, that's no good for nobody, man. And so you might think it's funny and cute and, you know, that's just how you guys, you know, macho it all, yeah, you know, whatever. And, you know, your body's going to manifest through whatever it's being told. So with Ho'oponopono, you're going to at least give yourself, you know, some, some clarity here. You're going to, for, you know, you're going to give, you're going to forgive yourself forever doubting yourself. And that's what it all comes down to. Because when you say this mantra, you really got to, you got to feel what you're doing because you're taking ownership and you're clearing an aspect of yourself within yourself or you're clearing an aspect of yourself within somebody else. You follow me on that? So when you're thinking about that, think about this. Your penis could have a mind of its own. You know, I mean, they say, you know, your hand, what's your hand doing? Um, anything's possible. You know, I'm not saying that it does or it doesn't, but I'm just saying for the sake of argument, you know, you might have put some doubt and negative thoughts into your you know into your peace you know and that's no good so what you want to do is you first want to apologize to her you want to say i'm sorry i'm sorry for ever doubting you triple d don't doubt your dick that's a video you might want to check out i'll have it flying around here somewhere so this ain't diners diving and drives we're rolling up guy fieri we're talking about don't doubt your dick all right it's very important that you do that, the Big Cat Collective, we want you to believe in yourself because we're about growth and making you your best version. So, you start with the, you know, the first part of the whole Pono Pono, very important. Accept that you've done something wrong and you're gonna, you know, you're gonna take ownership and you're gonna apologize. So you're sitting, you're looking at your guy, you're feeling it inside, I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry I ever doubted you. And then you're going to, please forgive me. Forgive me forever doubting you like so you go with the ownership and then you're asking for forgiveness and then you say Thank you because gratitude's the attitude if that's anything we know, you know it's a, You got to keep the gratitude flowing to keep yourself growing. So you always say, you know Thank you, and then you gotta go with love babe, and that's where it comes from the heart and so you know this chakra is in the center third eye all the sacrals and throat and you know your root down there is where your penis is so we're going to send that love straight to that source and you're going to definitely clear it out for some growth so you say i love you so again 
I am sorry, you know, forever doubting you. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. And you just send that positive wave of love all throughout, you know, throughout that piece of meat down there. Because we want that thing to grow so big, it's just throbbing between our pecs when it's hard. It's swinging at the knees when it's soft. And it's thick, you know, it's as thick as you want it to be. You know, you got to have your, uh, you know, you got to have a positive visualization of what you want to see. They always say, you know, dream, you know, you always want to go above your mark, man. You know, if you're trying to go to... You know, if you're trying to go to the stars, try to go to Mars, whatever that analogy might be to you, you always want to go above and beyond. So why not go above and beyond with yourself, man? I'm talking about being so huge that the ground shakes when you're walking. We're talking about being so massive and wide and muscular that we're getting steroids from the divine because this all comes from inside. And I'm not talking about you know, being on some trend balloons, uh, science type of stuff and HGH and having all the side effects of human uh, nature. I'm talking about divine nature, something that is beyond this, that's inside this, because essentially whatever anything is doing comes from inside you anyways. Like whether you're smoking, you know, weed with the cannabinoids and, you know, the steroids, the HGH and the testosterone, that's all in here. And your, you know, your testicles, your balls, that's a, a knowing of where, um, you know, testosterone and HGH comes from. So you got to definitely take care of your balls. You know what I mean? A lot of people skip on them and, you know, hate on them. And then you got, you know, back in the day, the jackass generation talking about people kicking people in the balls. You got to appreciate them, man. You know, that's where, those are the, the tanks, man, the sperm tanks, man. They're holding the seed of life. And I do a whole bunch of other videos and my own practices, you know, because I follow Montak Chi, where he talks about semen retention and charging your, your Chi through Taoist beliefs, Taoist practices. And a Taoist, you know, you got the Wu Wei, flow of the day, you know, just let yourself go. But I like the sexual Tao and the sexual Chi, where you're talking about utilizing your sperm and your cum and using that energy throughout your whole body and this is because like you know sexual energy is divine that's something that you're going to feel without your body it's something that i could feel whether i'm in a lucid dream as a giant and i'm making my penis you know massive and i can suck on it or if i'm in the astral realms floating around where i don't have a body but i'm still horny you know what i mean i can still feel my penis and actually see it even if i'm not aware of my body like but i'm like my cocks you know it's here, you know what I mean? So what are you going to do? So something that I realized, sexual energy, smiles, and, you know, breathing, this, this, this is all stuff that is divine. This is more, this transcends beyond this realm. Because when you think, when you really get into all this other, you know, deep rabbit hole of, you know, why we're here, you know, and you go with the Alan Watts theories and, there's so many theories on top of theories and whatever this is, and you might want to talk to Siri. So, what what it really comes down to is what you what your truth is, what your belief is, and something that I feel you know you can at least entertain is to understand that the smile, the breath, the way our heart beats, and all that stuff. You know, this is stuff that's beyond this. You know, this beyond this 3D avatar, or this body, whatever you want to call it, the experience that we have here. So whatever is out there is in here, and keep this clear for beautiful things to appear. So Ho'oponopono, definitely something you should utilize. And like I was saying, with the Montag Chi way, you know, it's something that I do. Semen retention can definitely help you out tremendously. It does for me. I use that, you know, I, I charge, you know, he's got charts basically where if you're in your 20s, you want to wait every four days before you, you know, ejaculate a load. And by the time you're 60, it's once a month. Like I say, he's from Asia. Asian people tend to do things twice as hard. Or it might be that they're twice as patient, you know, because that was something that I was, you know, really dabbling in today that, you know, people in this day and age aren't patient anymore. Like, you're only fast if you're, you, the only way that you're fast is if you're the only one that's fast. But 
everybody out there is you know rolling by everybody's got a ferrari in this race you know what i mean so we're all neck and neck and all that's doing is you know just putting more put when you put more speed on the line you got more things that are dangerous and i want to say dangerous just say there's just more prone for error and it doesn't it takes you away from the present because that's all we really have is this moment now and this now that you're watching it at this now this now is now you know what i mean so that's a beautiful thing you might want to ch chat that down this now is now uh chat down any positive affirmation that you want to put with this that will put some positive vibes with because that's what a collective tribe vibe is all about the more you know the more people that we put on the side of this is the more that we can get out of this and that's why you know the big kai collective is something that is here and we're gonna you know grow the more we grow the more it will show and it's gonna be you know it's gonna keep us going man it's gonna keep us growing we're gonna be huge you know we're gonna have those big pieces of meat swinging at the knees it's already there you know the big massive cock throbbing on the packs it's there so the more you believe the more it will show so like i said semen retention huge game changer i got videos on that never waste your seed take care of your balls you know don't don't hate don't doubt your guy down there give yourself permission to forgive yourself ho opono pono it's a beautiful thing and you know there's going to be a lot more beautiful experiences along the way i got plenty to say on a whole bunch of this stuff and you know like i say man get in my um get in my inbox get on the social media you know there's going to be a lot more you know going um as far as lessons and deeper cut content that i can actually show you how to exercise you know properly you know right now i'm just showing you i'm showing you everything you know the fundamentals but if you need somebody to just coach you along the way i'm your guy man i'm your guide i'm a spiritual guide i'm here to help you be your best bring out the best inside put beautiful things inside keep this clear beauty appears ho'oponopono Give it a shot. Anytime you're in a situation where you feel that, you know, somebody's doing you wrong, it's really an aspect of yourself, man. So never forget that. And even if somebody's caught, like, no matter where you're at, even if your boss is being a jerk, at some divine level, that is really you. And you got to take ownership in that. And it's not necessarily like you got to be, you know, mad at yourself for it or like, why do I got to be mad when, you know, don't just... Don't complicate it. Just be like, all right, this guy's making me feel a certain way because when you go into the old guru, guru way, you know, they tell you that you're the only one that creates your own prison. You know what I mean? This is whatever you do with the words is your own into you know, your own intuition, your own inclination. It's your own, you know, source that's doing this. So you gotta give yourself forgiveness for even taking that as a, you know, as a bad thing. Like you know, it's like in Roadhouse, you know, what if he says something about my mama? It's like, is she? You know what I mean? Like, I'm using a Roadhouse analogy. <laughs> uh, you know, hey, Roadhouse. But, I mean, nonetheless, I mean, it really is, you know, something that you could think about. I mean, he was a Zen guy in that movie. You know, he practiced, like, you know, Tai Chi. You see him by, you know, on the lake doing his thing. I mean, he was a spiritual guy and a philosopher. And, you know, there's actually some beautiful things you can learn even in a cheesy 80s flick like that there's still a lot of love put within this stuff as long as you're aware of it so with that being said you know always remember that somebody at some aspect of anything negative that you're finding it's really yourself so give yourself forgiveness definitely you know read the books get out there and really learn the whole pono pono and you can see the magic that it has with people in men, uh, that had mental illness and how it healed them without doing any medicine. This is all true stuff, man. So you want to get out there and you got to, you know, forgive the way that you're perceiving people. You know, forgive yourself. Forgive your penis, man. You know what I mean? You got to keep everything clear. So remember that, you know, you, I'm going to get say it one more time, you know, just so we can really hammer the point home. And it all goes with, I am sorry. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. And that's it, man. You just keep saying that over and over and over again. Whatever way goes with your flow, whatever 
you got to say whatever language that you spoke that you speak or spoke or you know whatever works for you it's got to be along those feelings you know what i mean how you feel when you say that you're sorry how you ask for forgiveness and how you have that gratitude so with that you know make sure you guys you know of course you know follow me on the social media ring the bell tell some friends and you know get, uh, comment down some love man get on the social um Type down anything that you might have any questions with. Positive affirmations. Get them a blazing. We're going to put love with it. This is the Big Con Collective. I'm here to make you grow. And it's going to show. And smile. Come with love. You guys are beautiful. I believe in you. And let's roll. Let's get huge. You guys are beautiful. Love you. Thank you.